And you are welcome. Finally joining us for a mini art exhibition is Jumbo Sutungi, a visual artist trained by the prestigious Universal Studios of Arts Lagos. His works are reflections of cultural, social, and also political happenings in contemporary society. You are welcome, Jumbo. Thank you very now, much. First off, this is supposed to be a mini art exhibition, but from what I'm seeing around us and one very huge painting, it's not so mini after all. But then again, I look at your name and it says Jumbo, so I, <laughs> I, I get the idea now. Yes, Jumbo. You're welcome, man. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Grand. Let's talk about your art, first of all. Let's see. I see two different forms, but I'm going to let you give us that explanation um, for a definition for what your art is like exactly. What okay. would you term it as? Okay, so uh, with my art practice, I don't like to box myself into mm. one style or Obvious. one medium. Or, so I just go with the flow, express myself. Um, whichever form I'm getting the inspiration from, I just go. So these this paintings here are plain air paintings. I go like on the spots, I paint them live. Mm. Maybe go on the streets and oh, paint so them. Oh, so these are actual locations. Yes. You know what, funny thing is, for that one right there, I could tell that you had to be on a location because it's too reminiscent of, for me, places I've been to, perhaps Ajegule or Agboju or something like that where yeah. the streets aren't paved, the cars are all parked and there's a container there, maybe even Kiri Kiri. Yeah, so that's somewhere um, in Moshe, Fladipo Market. So uh -huh. we have lots of containers and cars like that. It's, just, it's, re it's relative, I can relate to it. What's mm. the name of that one? What's the title? So um, it's a red truck. Red truck. Yeah. And it goes without saying. And then that one there with the GP tank and the yeah. very tall trees yeah, also. You, you're so straight. Yeah, very interesting. Now, you're inspired by what exactly? Do you see a place and say, I'd like to paint this place. I'll come back tomorrow in two days' time with everything I've got. Or what inspires you? Exactly. Um, I'm inspired by nature, conversation, music, just um, books, movies. Wow. It just, the list just goes on. Very interesting. I'm going to talk about the one right next to you, which is also kind of like a location piece with a brown building. I don't know if mm -hmm. you can see, if you know the one we're talking about there, that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about that one. Where and what is it? So that's um, Ologia Street. It's the street that my studio is located on. Okay. So um, what happens on that street is um, during weekdays, it's very busy. Mm. You have lots of mechanic and it's very busy. So uh, I do that um, like on a Sunday. I come out on a Sunday when yeah. the street is less busy. That's why you find that there are lots of cars, but no people yeah, on I the can streets. See that. Yeah, I can see that. I do. What's the reception you get when people see you painting on the street? You know, like what is the matter with this guy? What is he doing? Under this hot sun, you're painting. What, what is it like? Yeah, for me, it's... Um, a kind of um, encouragement because most people they don't see artists working mm. they only just find hear about it see it in movies and so for me painting outside and mm. it's um, like inspires the kids yeah they come around they see um, an artist working and the work so, manifesting right in front of yeah, them. So. very interesting on the screen now we've got a couple of your work also going by and I can see that theme it's location based it's oil on canvas, is it? Yeah, you oil, oil on, on canvas. canvas. Very interesting. Um, but then the very interesting bit here is inside of uh, the set here with us. And I'd like to take our attention to this humongous piece that you have here. I've got my own translation. But first of all, tell us what its title is and why or what inspired it. OK, that's um, titled Odysseus which uh, is um, like the journey of the coronavirus across oh. the world. Okay. So um, our location, mm. like, so that's, that, that's like... I see a couple of influences there. I see the mask, which obviously yes. the pandemic on there. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's, it's a female figure. It's also got these huge glasses. I don't know what that is, but it reminds me of a movie. If you're a Star Wars fan at home, that's actually Dima, I think. Looks like Dima is the character inside of Star Wars uh, from recent times. And when I first saw it, I actually thought that you were a Star Wars fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's got so many influences right next to her, all the tissues, uh, the toilet paper, uh, the water closet, the toilet. Um, she's holding a tambourine. 
So yeah. it's like so many things have come in, infused in that one painting. Yeah, so um, my, my art with those conceptual works, they are deeply inspired by music. So I use music. like music, like a Marx, to tell my story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first of all, what you say, it's like the musical side of it. Then when you look deep, you start to read other yeah, meanings into it. Like you could see, like you, see, you saw the uh, tissue papers. Yeah like hand sanitizers, mm, yeah, the toilet seats, yeah. So um, w at the peak of the coronavirus, uh, people were holding on to... Toilet paper yes, and all of so that. That's, I get it. That's that, then the... Um, it's very interesting. Let's move on now to this one right next to me. Um, it's got this um, radio, but it's still got a human form. Uh, I'm a radio guy, I love radio. Grew up with radio and everything, worked on radio for a very long time. So that kind of like, I wanted to take this one home when I saw it. Can you give it to me? Yeah, uh, we'll talk price after. <laughs> but I said give, don't sell it to me. But tell me about that one, what inspired it? Because I'm beginning to feel like if you weren't an artist, you'd be a musician or you'd make music. Am I correct? True. Yeah, it shows. It True. shows. But tell us about it. So um, that's like the first um, piece that came out from the Radiohead series. So this is actually tied to that other painting, but okay. this was the first piece I made out of the Radiohead series. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so um, I was brainstorming and thinking of how to um, tie my talent and my love for music, okay. how to bring them together yeah. and make a pictorial composition of nice. it. So that's when the Radiohead mm -hmm. one came out. So that's the Radiohead. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in that piece now, imagine like, cultural uh, costumes, mm -hmm. my love for music. Mm -hmm. I'm just joining different elements together to just tell my story. Oh, it's beautiful. All of your paintings look like they're ready to go. They look like, hey, how much is that? Okay, boom, bam, <laughs> put it in the car. Um, so uh, it begs the question, how much one could acquire any of these? I'm very interested as to how much you would be letting go uh, of that one. So. The so big for, one, the huge so for, one. So for that piece, it's already gone. Oh, for real? Yes. And that, how much did that cost? $2,000. $2,000. They don't charge a night anymore, guys. It's always dollars. <laughs> Interesting, 2000 Yeah. We were also looking at something on screen right now, um, uh, some of your work, which mm -hmm. was on the spot. I don't know. Can we show that again? Now, this is you where exactly? Okay, so that's um, Agbar so It's... In Delta State, so we go there. Where is that again? Agbarotho. Agbarotho. Is that yes. where you're from? No, no. That's okay. not where I'm from. So we go there like um, in February and August for an arts workshop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you also take the opportunity to just... To just see around, see the um, nature. So that was done like in a Fulani settlement. They have a small settlement in the um, town there. So I just went, you can see the children around, just coming around to look at the artwork and just wow. enjoy the process. Wow. What's the difference when you paint in the city and when you paint in places like this? Is there any different, uh, difference in, in how people uh, uh, yes, perceive? Yes, yes, like with um, the cities, you only get like kids who stop by and want to appreciate what you're doing because they are Mm -hmm. They just love what you're doing, but the adults, like yes, but the adults, they just mm -hmm. look and walk no off. time. But in the um, in urban the areas uh -huh. like that, mm -hmm. it's different. Both the adults, everybody, they are just, mm -hmm. yeah, engage. They just engage with your art. And I also see that you took the opportunity to document everything that's happening there in video form. Yes. Um, was this intentional, or do you also document most of your work like this? It was intentional. I document most of my works that are done outside my mm. studio like this nice. because um, there's a lot that goes on behind the scene that I can't put on my canvas. So okay. the video does that for me. Wow, that's yeah. very interesting. It's, it's a very unique way to express yourself because being a, a, an oil and canvas guy, yeah, I can imagine that it could be a bit limited because everything is happening around. All of what you're telling us now, you actually want people to also imbibe in as well. So capturing that in video form would also, I mean, add more to the story that you're trying to tell. 
on canvas. And that's that's just beautiful. I love what you do. Thank I wish you I had taken much. art a bit more seriously because, yeah, I like to say this all the time that I can or used to be able to paint myself, but I can't do that anymore because I just let it go. Do you think I can still Of resume? course, you can, you can. To Will me, you help me? Of course, I'm always, I'm Fantastic. here. Fantastic, can I'm I take here. this home? <laughs> well hey it is grand to have you here we have had a fantastic time thank you very much thank you i too. love it um we're going to be talking about that one and hey everybody out there do stay tuned because this boy here yeah, i mean this guy this human this person he's fantastic thank he's giving me this one much. definitely i beg please let's talk after while i'm begging him for this one please let's uh Let's pass it over to the kitchen where the ladies are having something very interesting for us here. You can see how I'm hogging this. You're not good with it. <laughs>